The canal expansion poses many challenges to the ACP and to the Unión de Prácticos del Canal de Panamá. The UPCP will have to adjust to new conditions. Large vessels with large sail area. Increased draft from 12.04 meters to 15.3 meters. Squad. Navigation in the Panama Canal will be what is considered to be very shallow water, with an under the keel clearance of 17%. Some of the locks will not have an approach wall. The movement from chamber to chamber will be without locomotives. Stopping the vessels in the lock chamber without the assistance of locomotives. Current effects while entering the locks without the assistance of locomotives. Exiting the locks without the assistance of locomotives. In order to prepare for the Panama Canal expansion, the UPCP believes that transiting pilots should be involved in the design and planning of a comprehensive training program. This program will properly equip them to meet these challenges. For this purpose, we have researched the latest training programs available for pilots today. Basically, ship handling training should consist of three things. One, training on board real ships. In the case of the Panama Canal expansion, this will not be available until the project is completed. Two, training on computer simulators. Great for bridge team management, approaches and maneuver planning, but not so realistic in close quarter simulations. Allows for very little feeling of ship's speed, wind, and current effect. Tugboat maneuvers are very difficult to simulate in a realistic fashion. The ACP has a 360 degree simulator in which all ACP transiting pilots should be routinely trained. 3. Training on manned models. This is the best way to acquire certain reflexes and feelings for the size and draft of the vessels. External forces such as wind and current are experienced firsthand. It also allows for experimentation of ship's behavior and to explore optimum maneuvers for particular situations. It enables pilots to experience under the keel clearance limitations in a realistic fashion. The UPCP has trained with both real vessels and computer simulators, but not with manned models. That is why we decided to travel to Port Revel, one of the top three manned model training centers in the world. Port Revel has over 40 years of experience. In 1990, they started offering refresher courses for pilots who returned every five years. The center has a fleet of 10 different vessels and four tractor tugs manned by real tug masters. All models are set to a scale of 1 to 25. The models behave exactly like regular vessels. The work with the tugs is very important as it allows for real experimentation. The center has a scale model of the new Panama Canal locks and can design a training program specifically for Panama Canal pilots. Typical ship arrangement. Fitted with helm, engine controls, bow thrusters, rudder, remote control anchors, and mooring lines. The engines are replaced by electric motors supplied by a series of batteries on board, which serve as a part of the ship's ballast. Onboard accommodations. Each model is designed so that the pilot is at bridge level. His eyes are at the same level as they would be in a real ship. Controls. The pilot controls thrusters and anchors. The helmsman, sitting in front of the pilot, controls the telegraph and the wheel orders. Brittany, entering and exiting the locks with bow and stern tug.
entering locks with tug on port and starboard bow. And there's no oil inside mm -hmm. for the chain. Right. Check. First on the air and first on the air. Mm -hmm. Ben Franklin and Normandy meeting Texas chicken style. Let's review some of the recommendations on training and certification and operation procedures for marine pilots. The following excerpts are important to note. Competent pilotage authorities should be encouraged to provide updating and refresher training conducted for certified or licensed pilots to ensure the continuation of their proficiency and the updating of their knowledge could include the following. Simulation exercises, which may include radar training and emergency ship handling procedures. Refresher or renewal courses in bridge resource management. Courses in ship handling training centers using manned models. On continued proficiency, IMO talks about the importance of having active pilots with recent experience of the pilotage area and the vessel they pilot. With the expanded canal, the UPCP will have to pilot larger vessels in new pilotage areas. The resolution also provides a time frame for pilots to continue their proficiency and updating of their knowledge to be at intervals not to exceed five years. Conclusion It is the opinion of the UPCP that the manned simulator is an essential complement to the training. We will require to enhance our skills and our proficiency with larger vessels and deeper drafts. It was also beneficial to have discussions with the instructors who are former pilots with ample experience in maneuvering with locks and post-Panamax vessels. <laughs>